Okay, uh, color, red, orange, smell, burning, taste, acidic, sound, tire, squealing, object, gun, animal, Tasmanian devil, food, borscht, beverage, bum wine, feel of touch, hot, place of setting, prison, weather, firestorm, car, panzer, music, death metal, age, um, wow. Okay, I'm biased because I know what the five emotions were, so I'm going to guess. I, honestly, I'd probably guess angry would, would be what my guess would be. Close. Okay. Um, so rage. There you go, rage. Okay. Hmm. Okay, now you need to ask me. Okay. Um, what are yours? What's your color? No, no, you have to ask, ask oh, yeah. what helps me what figure helped it out. What helps you figure that out? Um, you sounded angry while you were saying them. <laughs> um, but, like, burning, that was one of yours. Um, prison, firestorm, those things right there. Prison, firestorm, panzer. Nice. Those are kind of got me into the feeling of it. Nice. Okay, I'll do one. Okay. Let's see. I will do... Okay, so color, orange, smell, burnt toast, taste, salty, sound, breaking glass, object is a tire, animal is a dog, food, burrito, beverage, wine, feel, hot, place, an alley, weather is rainy, car, Ferrari, Music, metal, and the age is future. Future. Wow. Um, I don't know. Some of those sound like kind of good. Like a Ferrari, that sounds good. Um, and like a dog and a burrito, that sounds good. <laughs> but like some of these sound bad too. Uh, I don't know. I might choose. I might choose um, time. What is that? Oh, tire. Um, it sounds a little like mine now, too. I don't know. Um, I guess, I guess, uh, maybe like angry or like uh, moody. I don't know. But that's clo close. It's fear. Fear. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, I didn't get that. I think. Maybe the best ones on this, like an alley and rainy. All right, breaking the, glass. Breaking glass. Beer and alley is, is scary for sure. Yeah, okay. and I guess yeah, yeah. Those those definitely made me think beer. Okay, so at this point, they're going to continue for about ten more minutes on this activity so that everybody gets a chance to go through the list. Okay, let's get everybody's attention one more time. I up here. All right, great. So you guys all had a chance to go through your list and guess the emotions and figure out what helped your classmates figure out the emotion that you had. And now I'm going to have you guys get into groups differently and we're going to discuss. So I'm going to have everybody, when I say not right now, stand up and you're going to get in a group with everyone who had the same emotion as you. So if you had rage, you're going to be right here. If you had fear, you're going to be over here. If you had any of my other emotions, which were grief, peaceful, and boredom, you guys will be in the other spots. Okay, so let's go ahead. When you get into your groups initially, I do want you guys just to talk and compare what you wrote down and see if there's anything that was the same. So maybe put a star by ones that were the same um, so that we can discuss those as a class. So go ahead, move into your groups and take a few moments to discuss those. Okay, so my rage group. So this was the free write I did on rage. Cool. And this was the free write my husband did on rage. Nice. So we can see if any of those That's are awesome. the same. <laughs> yeah. Metal, metal, yes. Did we all do metal? Yeah, we did. Yes. Um, we did stormy, firestorm, windy, okay. Um, red, red, red. Burning, mm -hmm. burning, gas, okay. Gas can burn. Spicy, acidic. Blood, oh, that's an even better one. Um, yelling, tires, screaming, screaming. Okay. 
chain link fence, gun, gun, okay, gun was away. Wait, is this your husband? That's me. Oh, that's you? Okay, I'm actually more like you. Okay, animal, full, has been double hyena. I almost said hyena. No way, I, I thought that did. was odd. But like, okay. hy hyena, like, they're, they're kind of funny and ugly. Yeah, like, they I are. mean, they're, they're, they are dangerous animals. Yeah. yeah. Chit chips? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I don't know why I put borscht. Oh, yes. I guess borscht because like, it's red. Isn't it red? It's, it's red. Okay. And it just like cold red like bean soup just sounds so gross. Like why I hate it. Yeah. Um, bum wine, vodka, whiskey. Yeah, okay. I love whiskey, but bum wine and whiskey is like absolutely trash. Hot, <laughs> hot, hot, hot. Uh, we all put hot, exactly. Animals. Yeah, exactly. Oh hot. Crowd. Uh, crowd, crowd, yeah, okay. Movie. Cool. Okay. All right. Okay. So you guys have had a chance to compare some answers. So uh, let's go ahead and talk about this for a little bit. Um, oh, I forgot. So you guys are going to compare these things. Um, okay. So you guys compare. Yeah. Okay. So let's discuss this. Um, so with my group of rage, my whole group of people who are very upset with the world. Um, did you guys have your emotions guessed? Just raise your hand if your emotion was guessed. Oh, looks like the majority got it. Okay. Uh, what categories helped your classmates guess that you are full of rage? Sean, um, go ahead. Feel if touched. All of us put hot. Okay. And then music, uh, we all put metal. And were those also the ones that helped people guess? Um, not necessarily. Uh, some, some, some yeah. of them. Okay, so we're gonna take a few moments and go through all the other groups, and so we can get a comparison there. Um, so we'll move ahead a few moments. Okay, are we finding that the sensory details, so the ones that we underlined as specifically sensory, were those the ones that helped people guess what your emotion was? I actually don't know the answer to this because I don't have a large enough sample size. Um, but out of those three, what do we think? Yeah, there were uh, two of them that were really, really helpful. Okay. And then were those also the ones that were most likely to be similar? Yes. Okay. So we're get, I'm getting a consensus that the color, the taste, maybe the feel were most likely to be similar. So we have kind of a consensus, almost a universal class of consensus on what those should be. Um, so now I want to ask a deeper question about sensory details and consensus. Where do we get this shared idea of what boredom is, or what represents rage, or what love is? If I draw a heart that's red, we know it means love. Where do we get this sense? And is it universal, or is it very specific to the U.S.? Yes. Probably comes from like our experience. Okay. Explain a little bit more. Like in life. You know, we uh, when we feel mad, we all feel hot. Like it's it's uh, what our bodies do. So that's uh, in our experience. Mm, okay, it's in our physical. So for rage, it's our physical experience. Yeah. And that we would probably tend to think is pretty universal. Oh hi. Hey, how's it going? Sorry. That's okay. Hey, what time do you have this room for? Uh, we uh, have this room until what, uh, seven. Yeah. Um, okay, so a physical reaction we tend to think is pretty universal. What about the colors? Do the colors seem to be universal? Did we have any outliers on colors? No, we agreed on colors. Okay, so let me give you an example of maybe something that you guys aren't familiar with. Um, in the U.S., what color do we associate with uh, funerals? Typically, yes. Black. Black. We typically wear black for mourning. Um, in China, you will see people wearing both white and black. Or in the U.S., what color do we typically associate with weddings and happy occasions? What does the bride usually wear at a wedding? In the U.S., it's going to be a white wedding dress. In China, the color to associate with happiness, anyone know? Sure, of course we know have someone. Uh, red. Red is actually the color. So that wouldn't be something that's a shared uh, concept. Mm -hmm. So as 
readers and authors during this unit, we're going to be paying a lot of attention to sensory details. And I want us to be thinking about our reader and the author, because the author is coming from a particular experience. And as a reader, you're coming with a particular experience. Um, and we're going to think about what sensory details do to the reader and how they help us envision or emote, how they help us get into the emotions of the story. Um, I'm going to give us one last example that's maybe a little bit easier for us to understand. So I want you guys to write down a, a time. If I say, I'll see you at dinner time, what time is that? Yes. Seven. Seven. Who agrees with Sean? Dinner time's at seven. Uh, we got someone over here saying, no, 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 I'm starving at five o'clock. We gotta eat at five. So that would be another example of um, a detail an author might throw out in their story that the reader would interpret differently. And that's just a really simple one that even within a class of 30 students, we have four or five different answers. Um, all right, so we are going to summarize this. I just wanted to make sure you guys had a framework for how we're going to talk about sensory details in the upcoming weeks um, and hopefully give you an idea of their power. And now we're going to take a moment to analyze details in our personal narratives. So pull out your personal narrative that you wrote. And I want you to underline the sensory details that you wrote in it. So underline anything that was a sensory detail. And remember, that's a pretty broad topic, as we discussed. And then just uh, count up your details and write that number at the top. So we're going to skip ahead. So everyone's counted their number. They put it at the top of their page. And now, as a last activity, you guys are going to self-assess how confident you are with sensory details, and you're going to draw a picture for me. So, next to your number, if you feel like you totally get sensory details, you used a ton of them in your personal narrative, you have no problem finding them or using them when you're reading, I want you to draw a hand next to your number. Uh, if you sort of get it, you used a couple in your narrative, you can probably find them on your own, you feel pretty good, go ahead and draw an eye. It can look like that or even simpler, just something so I can understand it's an eye. Um, ear, if you think you get it, you know you didn't use enough in your personal narrative and you'd like some help uh, with some strategies for sensory details, go ahead and do an ear. And then lips, if before today you had no idea what a sensory detail was. You definitely didn't use them in your narrative, and you need some help with them. And again, no right or wrong drawings. Just go ahead and mark that. Okay, and that will conclude our gateway activity.